So my Christmas gift to myself this year was a Nest thermostat in my continuous effort to transition my home into a full-blown smart house. And in this video, I'll go over how to install the Nest Learning Thermostat third generation, and I'll also go over the features of it and the pros and cons from my experience so far. After tons of research, I found that the third generation Nest Learning Thermostat was by far the most popular choice as the best smart thermostat. The main reason I wanted a smart thermostat was to save money on my electric bill because not only is it auto programmable, but it's controllable from anywhere you are using your smartphone. The Nest Learning Thermostat is currently a number one bestseller on Amazon and it's right around $240. I'll leave the Amazon link in the description below if you want to get one for yourself. So in the box, there is the Nest Learning Thermostat, the installation and welcome guides, a Nest screwdriver with screws, and a trim kit. Even though the Nest Thermostat is compatible with most systems, I'll leave a link to the Nest compatibility checker in the description below so you can actually verify that your system is compatible with the Nest before purchasing. I am definitely not a handyman by any means, uh, so I was kind of scared of how this process was going to be like, but the installation of the Nest thermostat was actually pretty easy. First, you'll need to switch off power to your current system by turning off the switch on the breaker box or by turning off your system's dedicated switch if it has one. Then remove the cover of your old thermostat and verify that your old thermostat does not say 120 volt or 240 volts. If it does, that means it's high voltage and Nest is not compatible with high voltage wires. Once you verify that Nest is compatible, take a picture of the current wire setup just in case you need to reference it later on. Next, peel off the included sticky labels in the installation guide and attach them to the matching wires. After you've finished labeling the wires, disconnect the wires from the old thermostat and you can use the included Nest screwdriver to loosen the screws if needed. Remove the old plate while making sure none of the wires fall back into the wall. If your old thermostat was bigger than the Nest and there are visible screw holes, you can use the optional trim plate to cover up the holes, which is what I had to do with mine. Next, pull the wires through the center of the Nest base and attach it to your wall with the screws using the built-in level to make sure it's straight. Insert each wire into its matching connector by holding down the button and inserting the wire all the way in. After all your labeled wires are connected, make sure the excess wire length in the center is flush with the wall. Next, attach the Nest display by pressing it onto the base until it clicks, then turn your system power back on. You should see the Nest turn on automatically and it will walk you through a quick setup. To navigate, just rotate the outer ring left or right and press on the display to select. And during setup, it'll ask you your location and language. You'll connect it to your Wi-Fi network. You'll set your temperature settings and you'll answer some basic questions about your heating and cooling system. After the setup is complete, you can press down on the display to bring up the menu. From here, you can change the mode from heating to cooling or off. You can view how much energy you've used in the last 10 days. You can view or change the schedule. You can set it to away mode if you're leaving the house and want to save energy. And you can adjust some basic settings. The Nest home screen turns blue when cooling and orange when heating. And it not only shows you what temperature the thermostat is set to, but it also shows you the current temperature inside and it'll give you an estimate of how long it will take for the current temperature to reach your set temperature. It also has a motion sensor built into it so when you walk by the thermostat it will light up so you can quickly see the thermostat temperature and you can also choose to change the setting for it to show the weather or time. Now one of its most compelling features is the way it learns your heating and cooling habits. So after a few days of use, the Nest will automatically create a schedule for your heating and cooling temperatures based on how you set it the, day, the days before. So it learns in just a couple days your habits of setting the temperature and how and when you set that temperature and it'll create a schedule for you for the whole week that repeats itself, which is helpful for people who have a weekly routine that doesn't change from week to week. However, if you do have a routine that changes from week to week, this will not be as helpful. Uh, luckily, you can go in there and customize the schedule at any time, or you can turn the schedule completely off. Now, to take full advantage of the Nest Learning Thermostat, you'll wanna download the free Nest smartphone app. Uh, it does require an account as well, but that account is completely free to set up. Now, from the app, you can manually change from home to away mode. However, the Nest Thermostat uses sensors, algorithms, and even your phone's location, if you choose to allow that, to automatically determine when you're home and when you're away, which is nice. Now, if you tap on the temperature in the app, you can quickly adjust the thermostat temperature, and you also get access to the same settings that are accessible from the thermostat itself, such as mode, eco, fan, schedule, and history. There's also a gear icon in the top right, which gives you even more customization options for your thermostat. Uh, eco temperatures are automatic temperatures that are set when your thermostat is in away mode, and it's indicated by the green leaf. The default eco temperatures are good for most people. However, if you have a pet, you might want to adjust and customize those eco temperatures based on your pet's needs. 
And what's neat about scheduling is you can turn on the early on feature, which will start the heating or cooling early in order to reach the set temperature at the time specified in your schedule, instead of having it start the heating or cooling at that set time. You can also create a four digit pin to lock your thermostat to avoid people changing it without the code, which may be useful in certain situations. The only downside I've seen so far is how to adjust the schedule using the app. It's definitely not intuitive when you first start using it. It took me a bit to figure it out. And even now I think Nest can make it a little easier to adjust the schedule. Hopefully that will come in a future update. And that's what's great about smart thermostats is because they're Wi-Fi connected. So not only can you control them from wherever you are using your smartphone, they're also constantly connected to the internet and they receive software updates as Nest releases them. So technically they do improve over time. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the Nest Learning Thermostat. I've only had it for a few weeks, but I'm already seeing the energy saving benefits uh, from having a smart thermostat, which was my main goal. Uh, I also love the ability to control the thermostat from wherever I am using my smartphone. So I hope you enjoyed this setup and review video of the Nest Learning Thermostat third generation. Again, the link to Amazon will be in the description below. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this, I'll try to get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more tech reviews in the future. My name is Andy, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.